Hello everyone and welcome to Stitching ANC. My name is Ashley. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Okay, so I just filmed my crochet recap for 2021, like my goals that I had, what I accomplished, all that stuff. <coughs> so this is going to be a video about like my goals for 2022. Everyone cross your fingers. Um, like I said in the last one, you may want to grab your beverage. Mine is still warm. Um, maybe a minute. I don't know. We'll see. It's up to you. Okay. Um, so my goals for 2022. Um, I have a slew of new series ideas for this Chanel or this channel, whatever you want to call it. So very excited about things that I have to bring to you all. Um, yes. So, <coughs> I guess I might as well just get started at the top of the list, but there are like, I didn't put all of them down, just kind of because, but I have a bunch of fun things planned for this year. So, I hope you guys will stick around. The first one on my list is to finish whips. Um, I have several whips, as you do. You know, some of you don't. Some of you start one project and finish it. Respect. Um, can't relate at all. I see the pretty yarn and the pattern and I'm like, let's do that. And that's why I have so many whips. So, um, last year, whatever you want to call it, I guess at this point it's last year and it's currently 2022 when I'm going to put this up, I guess. So, um, I did whip weekends, which is like whenever we would go on my treatments, I would take a project, hope to finish it. Sometimes I didn't even crochet because it was just a real crumb experience. <laughs> so I didn't crochet, let's be honest. Um, but there were several times that I got some things finished. So fun just to set a goal, accomplish that goal. Um, so I want to still do that with the whips, but we don't go somewhere every month now. So I'm just going to call them whip whenever, because I don't know, like whenever, that's when I'll put it out. And I feel like that's an appropriate title. That way I'm not like obligated into a timeline or anything. Um, I obviously got this idea from beautiful Terry at Yarn and Joy Podcast. Once again, I feel like we should all, you know, give credit where credit is due. That's where I got this idea. Um, she does Whip Wednesdays and every other week she does a fun whip from her whip wall. And so that's where I kind of got the idea. I just thought it'd be fun to take something with us on a trip. I said to the no, you know, whatever. So just, and I already have the first part of one of those recorded. So I'm already wor working on a whip whenever just saying so I'll watch for that one I guess um but yeah that's what they're gonna be called now just whenever I feel like doing it um I'm still gonna do the same thing like this is where I'm at part one of the video part two of the video is like hopefully finishing it type thing you know so okay um going to continue to make donations I think that's kind of a given um <coughs> I have a lot of different things that I have planned that I want to make for them. Um, but yeah, I don't really have a goal. I kind of want to make a goal of things, like a number of things to make. And I don't really want that much pressure. <laughs> At first I thought about that and then it was kind of just like, you know, I make several things and so I'm just kind of going to do it as normal. Just like whenever I feel like I want to do this thing, make that thing, put it in the donut donate bag. So, okay. Um, a corner to corner grafkin. I still want to do this. I'm having like insane urges to start one. Like insane urges to start one. Um, I figured the corner to corner out. I don't even need to look at the pattern. That is like the easiest blanket. I love it. It's so good. Um, and I've made part of a grafkin before, but I did single crochet. It's the Alice in Wonderland. 
thing. I didn't finish it, so there's that. Um, but I still have the craft for it. So maybe that's what I use, I don't know. But I thought that would be really fun just to, because, um, to make a graphkin. And there are so many cool ones, it's really kind of hard to decide which thing. I thought about like our last name, initial. I've thought about a gnome, you know, obviously. Um, just like something really basic with just like two colors, something with maybe three. Get, you know, fancy, feel froggy about it. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. The Alice in Wonderland has two colors. Um, it'd be like Alice blue and white, kind of, you know, like her dress type colors. Um, so I don't know. But I really, really, really want to make a corner to corner graphkin because it just looks like such a good time. So, okay. My next one is make a cardigan and make overalls. Um, I have another series that I'm going to do that's like wish list crochet, um, things that I've wanted to make, things that I've like, it's pretty long at this point, that list. Um, I can read it to you, but that would kind of spoil the series. But there's probably 20 things on there already. Um, projects that I've really, really wanted to accomplish, like the super cool fairy coat that I've discussed, um, with the one yarn, <coughs> um, set a pair of overalls, which, well, okay, both of the yarns are right here, why not? Okay, so this would be, like, the fairy coat, like, earthy tones with, like, a big flowy, pretty thing, and then this for overalls, because why not? Um, so that was kind of the thought in that. Um, but I have a bunch of things on that list that I want to do, and so that's going to be another kind of things, kind of like I said, wish list, crochet items I've wanted to make for a while. <coughs> I'm going to try to make, okay, Linda Richmond coffee top moment. Just about stuck that gnome in my cup. Awesome. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm also going to have, like I said, new series ideas. Um. One of them I've discussed has something to do with my daughter and myself. So, what we're going to do, um, she loves to draw. She is an artist, straight up. Um, the child blows my mind. So, she's going to draw something. I'm going to create that something. So, our first project, she made one of her characters, one of her drawings that she does. And it has a really cute sweater that it's wearing. I'm going to make the sweater. She has another... Um, she's like really into animation and kind of making her own cartoons and storylines and things. She likes to write as well. <coughs> so she has characters that she's created. Um, she has one little character that she wants me to make into an amigurumi. So we have several different little ideas for that. I don't really know what that one's going to be called and I'm, she's like said, not going to be in the video is just because um, but yeah, so Miss B and I have plans for y'all and I'm so excited. We purchased the yarn for the sweater whole thing. It's very exciting. Um, I also want to do one that's like, <coughs> I'm already working on it. Ideas, like if, um, like movies and TV shows that we're watching, like something crochet in that and doing whatever crochet item from said show or movie um, and making those things. Once again, don't really have a name. I'm going to kind of try to be vague about some stuff, but those are some plans that I have coming up. And yeah, I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Um, I would really like to do some tutorials. I've mentioned that for a year now that I want to do tutorials and I haven't. Um, I have a headband I would like to do. I've been requested to make gnome homes from a couple of you. Like if I could put out a pattern or make a gnome home and then um, 
you know, maybe kind of do a tutorial type thing for that. So I might do that. Um, that would kind of be a lot of work <laughs> in a video, like a start to finish through decorating the gnome home, but I mean, maybe my editing skills are there, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so I still plan on donating, I'm still working on um, food items for the stove, I still have not finished that, um, in case you don't know what I'm talking about for the shelter, I want to use like the clear tubs with the white lids, make the top of the lid look like a stove, I've kind of about decided that like half of it will be like a range and then part of it's going to be a sink so that way you know they can like clean up after themselves, right? Um, but I want to crochet some food items and some little plates and a couple pots and pans so that the kids at the shelter when you know like grown up talk is happening, the kiddos can play um, and not, you know, just be kids for a little bit. Um, and like maybe a checkers thing, you know, just some fun little games and things. I've discussed those, but then it was like Christmas <laughs> and stuff. And so all that kind of took over. So that's another thing. Um, that was one of my goals for last year was to start Christmas presents early and work on them so that I'm not so stressed all at the end. And I'm going to try to do that <coughs> because I made these back to back and I'm gonna start coughing. Um, but yeah, so I want to start working on some Christmas things early so that way, you know, maybe it's not so much. I don't know. Um, I'll be honest, it's two Christmases in a row that we have not been around anyone. So, I, kind of, I mean, I kind of have depending on if we see everyone this year and we have stuff already. I don't know how that works. Um, I mean, I can mail stuff to everyone, but I don't know. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so hopefully we get to see everybody next Christmas. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I would, like I said, like to kind of start on some of those, but, um, so that's why I kind of didn't make the things for the shelter, but I would like to get back into making pots and pans and fruits and veggies and stuff like that. I saw a little thing. It's a bowl of spaghetti. So cute. So anyway, just stuff like that. Some meatballs. Um, I mentioned I'm not going to make like safety eyes or smiley faces on any of the food because, you know, it's, they're just, it's just play food. It's okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do those things for them and then like I said, continue making for the shelter, um, that's one thing that I probably will show you guys whenever I, before I give it to them, is the stovetop thing, just so you guys kind of have an idea, and, you know, if you want to make one, or if you have, like, a kiddo or a grandkid, you can make one, um, <coughs> so yeah, I probably will share that, like I said, I don't really show donations that I make, I show the ones that you guys send me, because y'all are amazing. The time that you spend in all of those things is so precious. Um, but yeah, I don't really show the things that I make just kind of because I just, I don't. Sometimes I'll do crochet ramblings, not tell y'all what they're for, and I sneak them in. I do that pretty often, but as far as just like, I don't know. I just don't. Um, I feel like if you've been here, you know this, but... Anywho, but like I said, I have a lot of you who send those things to me, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Like the bottom of my heart, I can't thank you enough for sending those things in. Um, you see, you guys don't have, I mean, you, you don't even know anyone in this community, and you send things, and it just, y'all are amazing. Um, so yeah, okay. So those are kind of some of my goals. Like I said, I have several series ideas coming up. Um, I've made, tried to make a pact with myself not to do so many like make-alongs and crochet-alongs and things like that because it just gets to be so much and it kind of takes the fun out of like just crocheting stuff I want to because I have to crochet, you know, whatever. I really have to crochet, but you know, just it's different. So there still will be a friend miss. There still will be crochet tober 
for sure. I'm already looking forward to Crochet Toker. Um, I'm still doing Neva's, like that 80s show with Make Along for the 80s stuff. Um, there's one other one. Oh. Okay, two. Also in Neva, um, we're still gonna do the, um, Manic Stitch and Movie Cow, which is where we watch movies with our hubbies and then make a blanket. And so we're gonna still do that because my husband and I are gonna try to make more videos together. Um, and then also I'm gonna do um, Mad Mimi's Crochet, Laura, her, um, she's doing like a quarterly thing with like fun holidays, like weird or fun holidays and you crochet something for that and I feel like that sounds like a whole lot of fun. And I already know what I'm gonna make, so, um, but yeah, you just do it like quarterly, so I only have to make four things throughout the year, so I'm gonna try to do those things. I'm making no promises to anyone, like I said, I, or to, you know, whatever, just because I don't know how I'm gonna feel, I don't, you know what I mean? So, yeah, um, I would love to join every single Cal and Mal and all of those things, but it just gets to be We'll go with a lot. Um, I don't know. So yeah, but there will still definitely be Crochet Toper and Friend Miss next year. Because <coughs> those are a blast. Um, possibly something in February. I don't know. We'll see if, you know how things play out. Um, but for the most part, so I'm just going to do my kind of series things that I have to come or bring to you guys and crochet ramblings. Um, I may do some health updates just because I know you guys wonder, um, how things are going. Um, so yeah, I'll, I still want to do some, like, crochet with me. Those were fun. Um, I'm sure we'll go to the creek and do some of those as well this summer. So, yeah, um, I don't know, like, <laughs> so last year, one of my goals, one of my last things that I mentioned was that I wanted to grow the YouTube channel, um, I mentioned in my last video, whenever I made that video, I had 64 subscribers, so I'd say that I successfully grew this channel because, wow, um, I never dreamed <laughs> the, it would be like this. I don't know. It's crazy. Um, <coughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I kind of almost went into a whole little Eminem rant there. Never would have dreamed in a million years I'd see so many yarny people who feel like me share the same views, the same exact beliefs. It's like a yarny army <laughs> marching beside me. Okay, but anyway. Sorry. I'm an M fan, in case you didn't know. That's one of my deep, dark, hidden secrets. Don't tell anybody. All right, cool, thanks. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I never, seriously, never in a million years would have dreamed, for reals. It's crazy to me. Um, so thank you guys for that, because like I said, I had 64 subscribers when I did this one year ago. So yeah, 1,700 more, no big deal. Um, <clears throat> it's a pretty good monthly average, I would say. So, okay. Um, yeah. So I guess that's kind of the basic gist of some of the plans. I'm sure I'll go off the rails and kind of do something completely different because that's kind of how I seem to do it. But I'm going to try. So, um... So yeah, mostly like so just fun series ideas, crochet ramblings, stuff to bring you guys to talk about, to share with y'all, um, my wonderful yarny friends. Alright, so thank you guys so very much for coming along on this journey with me. I have had so much fun. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful new year. Happy 2022, everyone. Um, I thank you guys so very much for watching. I thank you guys so very much for continuously watching, coming back, listening to me talk about who knows what from day to day. 
thank you. <laughs> so, all right. Um, you guys have a wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe. Happy New Year. And I will talk to you guys soon.